Hi, I am pretty sure that we could use another day of solving unknowns. So we're just going to go through a few more example problems and you'll have an assignment very similar to what you had yesterday because I'm sure that the first time you see letters in there with the numbers, it's a little bit like what's happening. So we'll just go through this again, pretty much the same as yesterday. Okay, so 2 equals r minus 8. Okay, 2 equals r minus 8. So remember, this is my balancing point. If I have an equation, okay, both sides of the equal sign need to be balanced. This side is 2, this side is r minus 8, okay? The 2 is all by itself, so I know the value of this side of the equation. It's 2. And that means that the value of this side must also be 2 in order for my equation to be balanced. Now, if something minus 8 is 2, we can figure that out, right? I have some money. I give away $8. Now I have $2. What did I have? Well, you can actually add these two, okay, to get to that number. The number is 10. Okay, if I have 10 and I give away 8, I would be left with 2. It makes sense. 8 plus 2 is 10. So R equals 10 in that situation. Okay, let's look at it. Parts in a whole. Okay, parts in a whole. I have a subtraction equation. Anytime you have a subtraction equation, you must subtract from the total. That's how subtraction works. The big number goes on top, you start with the big number, you subtract smaller amounts. I'm subtracting from R. R must be the big number. That means that 8 and 2 are my pieces. And look, if I put my pieces together, which are 8 and 2, I will find out that R was 10. 8 and 2 make 10. So. Same answer both ways. Okay. Checkity check. H minus 2 equals 4. Seesaw equals balance. Okay. This side is 4. This side is H minus 2. Okay. The 4 is all by itself. That tells me that the value of that side of the equation is 4. In order to balance, the value of this side of the equation must be the same. It must also be 4. And I can guess and check, okay? I can say something minus 2 equals 4. I have some money. I give away $2. I have $4. How much money did I have to begin with? 6 works, right? I can go through that. Or I can do... The inverse is what they call this in math. It's the opposite, right? If it says minus 2 equals 4, then I can add 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Same answer both ways. H equals 6. Plug it back in and think about it. If H is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4? Yeah, it is. My math, my math brain hasn't completely quit yet. That happens around 4 o'clock, <laughs> okay? So, parts in a whole. Subtraction equation. Subtraction starts with the big number. I'm subtracting from H. H must be the big number. H. My parts are 2 and 4. If my parts are 2 and 4, it's not hard to figure out that my whole, my total, must have to be 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay? H equals 6. I hope it's making more sense today. Okay? Check. V equals 5 plus 1. Okay. Seesaw. Okay. V is all by itself. The other side of my equation is 5 plus 1. Well, I can do this. 5 plus 1, that's 6. 
If this side of my equation is 6, this side of my equation must also be 6. And that means V equals 6. Does 6 equal 5 plus 1? Yeah, it does. 6 equals 5 plus 1. That made sense. Okay, so V was 6. V equals 6. Okay. Okay. 6 plus 1 equals E. Six plus one equals E. E is by itself six plus one. I can't figure out E, even though it's by itself, right? But I can figure out six plus one. Six plus one is seven. If six plus one is seven, E must be seven, because that balances my equation. Okay? So I think E is seven. If I go at it from a parts and a whole, perspective, okay, with addition, you always add the parts and make the total. I'm adding parts to make the total. If I'm adding the parts, 6 and 1 are the parts, E is the total, 6 and 1 makes 7. Okay? J plus 9 equals 10. J J plus 9 equals 10. Okay. I've got an addition equation. That means that I'm adding parts to make a total. My parts that I'm adding are J and 9. My total is 10. Something plus 9 equals 10. Something would be 1, right? 9 plus 1 is 10. That works. 9 plus 1 is 10. J equals 1. Or, I can seesaw it, okay? Equal sign, equal sign, this side is 10, this side is j plus 9. My equation has to balance. This side of my equation has a value of 10. That means that this side of my equation must also have a value of 10. Remember how we talked about inverse? Okay, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So 10 minus 9 is 1. And either way, I come to the conclusion that J equals 1. Okay, if I plug it in up here, that, that works. It makes sense. It's, it's important to go back and just see, does this answer make sense? Okay, 10 equals 6 plus U. 10 equals 6 plus U. I'll see saw it first. Okay. 10, 6 plus u. 10's all by itself. Both sides of my equation have to equal 10. Okay? 6 plus something equals 10. I can figure that out, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, it's 4. Or I can use an inverse operation. The opposite of addition is subtraction. 10 minus 6 is 4. Either way I go, u is 4. And when I go back and check it, it makes sense. Okay. Parts in a whole. I have an addition equation. In addition, you add the parts. These are my parts. 6 and U. My total is 10. If I have 6, what is missing to get me to 10? 7, 8, 9, 10. It's still 4. Okay. U equals 4. Okay. Last one. 9 minus 2 equals P. 9 minus 2 equals P. Okay. Seesaw. 
equal sign. P sine minus 2. P is all by itself. I can't figure out P. It doesn't help me to say both sides of my equation must equal P. I'm saying P a lot. Okay, so 9 minus 2, I can figure out, right? That will give me a number that I know. 9 minus 2 is 7. If this side is 7, this side is 7, the only thing that's over here is P, so P must be 7. If I go up here and, figure, and plug it in, 9 minus 2 does in fact equal 7. That's a good sign. Okay. Parts in a whole. I have a subtraction equation this time. Subtraction equation, when you subtract, you must subtract from the big number, the total. You start with the total, you subtract smaller amounts. I am subtracting from nine, nine must be my total. That means my parts are two and P. If my parts are two and P, two and something, how much more do I need to get from two to nine? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Plug it in. Look at that. It's almost like I've done this before. I hope I hope that this is getting a little bit easier. Okay. If it's not, we'll do it in small groups.